Hi Virgos, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading between March 8 to 14. Let's see who is coming towards you in love. This is a general message. Take what resonates and you what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. The details are given down below in the description box. My Instagram is Ayanigma.in. Do follow me there for all updates. Nine of Swords. And we're having the Nine of Cups. The nine energy, which means that there's someone that is <clears throat> thinking about you or goes non-stop. They cannot stop obsessing over you, cannot stop thinking about you. The thing is they're not taking action because their ego will get hurt. They want to stay in their energy while trying to manifest you in their life. There is someone that is taking a lot of stress, thinking about you non-stop. They cannot stop... Uh, obsessing over you this person could be having their birthday on nine and there's someone that desires you so much you're like their wish come true wish fulfillment lovers this person wants to touch you this person wants to hold you tight they have feeling of intimacy deep desire they think this connection can go a long way they could be from a different religion or a background but there is an also an energy of them fearing a third party here they could be a Gemini. They're so stressed out that they're craving for that one touch that can heal them fully. Okay, this person is so worried. They want to have a new beginning with you. This is someone that sees happiness with you, life with you, a new beginning with you. They just feel like you're the person that they can think of settling down with. They could be a Leo. What is this nine of swords bothering them? Let me see. devil Just do your swords okay. <coughs> the thing is they think that you don't like them or you did turn their offer down in the past there's someone that came in and turned down you know you turned down their offer and this person is someone that sees you someone that is very um out of their league or someone that makes a lot of money very successful this year someone very attractive and this person thinks that you don't like them and that is making them crazy or you gave them a hint that you're already with someone else so this has hurt them badly and they still want you they still have hopes that they can build a connection with you they could be a capricorn this is someone that thinks that you have a lot of other options chasing over you. Then why would you want them? And there is this jealousy that why some other options want you when they want you so badly. You should be theirs. You should be mine. This is what we think. The thing is you're very attractive with the queen of wands and the eight of wands energy. You are that very attractive personality that can attract anybody towards you. And you're also very successful financially. That's how they see you. <clears throat> you have a lot of friends and this person cannot stop thinking about you they've been talking about you non-stop they're wondering about like your beauty is out of this world you're so good looking they also want to come and compliment you make you feel special libra gemini Aquarius. this person is obsessed okay they have been planning on reaching out to you to impress you say things that can make you want them exclusively queen of swords there is a friend around that they think that they, sh they really want to remove. There is this third party between you and them. Maybe it's your friend that doesn't like them. And they don't like your friend. And they want your friend to be out of this connection. <clears throat> yeah, this person has been thinking about you a lot. Let me see what this Queen of Swords energy talking about. they're trying to show you or send you hints that they like you but you're not responding they feel like you're deliberately trying to push them away giving them hints that you're not interested they could be a scorpio pisces cancer this person feels like you're so rigid 
okay in in your beliefs that you will never give them a chance you just don't want them this is what they think right now but this person is not gonna let you go that's the thing they are like okay no matter what happens this Virgo is someone that belongs to me and they will be ending up with me only and i know and i believe in it there's someone that believes in wanting to have you by hook or by crook this person is not able to take a no from you okay they've made up their mind now they're planning on reaching out to you two of wands how do you feel about this person <clears throat> you're like okay this person is a fool like i need to put them aside and focus on my career focus on my goal you're just simply enjoying your me time right now you want to focus on your career you want to focus on your well-being your health the people that you're surrounding with you have a lot going on in your life and you're not even giving them any importance because you think that this person is just another chaser and nothing serious about them but you still have a feeling like you need to talk to this person but you're not sure about the future here so you want to keep this person stuck or somewhere you're not like sure whether this person is perfect fit for you or not so you have no idea whether <clears throat> should you take it forward or should you just uh keep them waiting okay this could be a pisces but there's an energy of you not being sure about this person they could be an aquarius what is this person's next move the hierophant this person thinks that if they offer you marriage, you won't say no because you've been looking for uh, commitment, you've been looking for marriage, you, you'd be looking for settling down, someone that would stay loyal to you. They want to give you that. They want to tell you that um, I'll do anything for you. You just come to me. This is what they want to say. They could be a Taurus. This person wants to build a base, a solid foundation with you of marriage. This person wants to tell you that you are the only one for them. So of pentacles they want equal give and take they want you to make equal efforts into this and they want you to be theirs and only theirs. they want to tie you in a knot okay <clears throat> this person wants to have you no matter what happens i'm definitely seeing this this person's planning on taking things forward they could be a taurus there's someone at your work or someone that is an official person nine to five job hey okay. oh wow this person you have no idea this person is quite wealthy they're quite wealthy they have a huge mansion this person is quite wealthy please clarify <clears throat> the wealthy man and the official person The tower. Oh, the three of cups. Nine of wands. <coughs> I feel like uh, there's this jealousy going on because you're, you're talking to someone else that's a wealthy person. And they're like, when will you guys separate so that they can have the chance with you? So what goes is someone that feels like one of the people that you're interested in needs to go out of the out of your life so that this person can make a move towards you so there's someone that is very jealous that you're talking to someone else and you're interested in someone else there's a third party energy here i'm not seeing the wealthy person being the one because they're going to be difficult for you okay this person is going to be making you do the work and you will be expecting a lot of lot from this person. So there are two people, out of which one person is ready to do anything for you, and another person is just keeping you stuck in in and out and on and off cycle. So there's a change that's coming into your life, the wheel of fortune. Probably a Sagittarius is coming into your life, where you're going to decide to cut off the wealthy person and focus on this one person that is ready to do anything, jump mountains for you. So you're going to be making a decision real soon and be in this new love relationship with this person, okay? That has been waiting for you for a long time. <clears throat> yeah. You're going to be saying yes to the marriage proposal here. 
yeah this might break your heart but in the end of the day you have someone waiting on you that truly loves you i feel you're going to embrace this new love things will take time for you to come out of this five of wands yeah you're finding it really difficult to trust someone who should you trust or who is the right person for you you're trying to figure out there are two options you're trying to figure out who is the one for me it may take two months for you to figure out who is the one for you seven of pentacles has some patience okay ace of wands finally you're going to be taking a decision over that one person that wants to do anything for you okay there's going to be intense spark loyalty passion desire deep intimacy between the two if you're going to have a new beginning with this person that has been waiting for you from a long time <coughs> let's see the messages Swallows. buy the book all you need to do right now is just go with the flow okay you will see you'll find all your answers I'm also seeing someone over here is bulky, is, is heavily. Yeah, children. Unrequited love. This person is, they could be your childhood crush. This person sees you as a childhood crush or they've had like to you in the past and this, and this didn't turn out something, okay, into something. And this was an unfinished business, but this person still loves you from the past. That's also an energy that I'm seeing and they cannot stop obsessing over you So now is a time where the separation they're going to end and come towards you with a new beginning here Okay, your friends are going to tell you about this person's feelings for you And you guys are going to decide to end up being with each other because you realize this is your soulmate This could be a specific message may not be resonating with each one of you though <clears throat> even though we are apart there's someone that has deep intense emotions for you even though you guys are not together this person always remembers you in their in their you know memories and this person always thinks about you and wants to stay connected to you so this is an unfinished business and this person wants to have you back in their life forever this could be a cancer this person is very caring they're very very caring this person wants you okay Robo, please. <clears throat> Guilt. Someone is feeling guilty. Let me see more. Yeah, guilt, love. This person is guilty of loving you. They feel like they shouldn't because you don't like them or you've never liked them or you like someone else. So there's someone that is, you know, making themselves a victim by thinking like that. Three of Wands. This is someone that deliberately stayed away from you so that they can just give you that space. I feel like you'll realize who this person is and you're going to give them a chance. Well, oh, please. Yeah, contract. Blossoming abundance. This person is someone that is fated okay <clears throat> the meeting was faded you guys were supposed to meet in the past and then separate and then rejoin and this time this is going to be a blossoming abundance this is going to be a beautiful love story beginning of the new relationship Portugal will come back this person is someone that is craving your love right now you gave them a lot of love and affection in the past something happened they can still remember you or feel this person. You, they cannot replace you with anyone else. Whoever this is, they've just gone too obsessed with you. This person is seeing you as one of the best, special. You're a special. You have a special place in this person's heart. <coughs> Let's see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think feel for you? Aries. Aries is like very protective of you, like a father figure or a mother figure. This person wants marriage. Taurus wants a new beginning. Transformative one. 
the Gemini wants to take a leap of faith towards this new love. And the Cancer is just being very, uh, like, not worried about the outcome and just coming towards you. And let's see how it goes. This person is very easygoing right now. Leo. Leo is walking away. I feel like the Leo person is more focused towards their money. Virgo. Virgo is hurting. Okay, they want you back. Then you're having Libra chasing you like you're the only one for them. And then we are having uh, Scorpio. They've had a sudden realization that they can't live without you. Sagittarius. They want to have you by hook or by crook. They think about you all the time. Capricorn. Caesar is a soulmate. Aquarius. Have been thinking about you nonstop. And this person is going to plan ahead of being with you. Pisces. They're definitely doing some spans on you. Trying to manifest you with their own way. <clears throat> First of all, as I told you, this is a faded connection. Karma brought you guys together. And initially, you guys were meant to teach each other a lesson and then fall apart and then come back to each other. Okay. And this is someone that keeps a close watch on social media. Someone is on social media, an influencer. Or this person is someone that is obsessed with your pictures and has been saving them, making them screensavers. Someone is into business, traveling business, okay, real estate, and yeah, wheel is turning, and I feel like there's someone that is coming with this new energy of wanting to be with you forever, someone that really wants to be with you, you bring them peace and happiness, just to see your smile brings them peace and harmony, this person is obsessed with you, I feel like they know that how they can keep you happy. This person is a pure-hearted person. And this is someone that is God-sent. Okay? You will see a lot of repeating numbers when this person comes into your life. Feathers. Okay? It means that this is a spiritual bond, a spiritual connection that this person feels for you. Virgo. <clears throat> Be ready to receive the rose. Okay? A proposal. One of a kind. You've never had that kind of an experience in, in your life. But this person is wanting to make it special for you. Okay, so there's a proposal coming in. Your person has E in their name, predominantly, triple E, okay, M-O-O-M-E-E-E. -E -E. Now, it says maybe, maybe you're going to say yes, maybe you're going to say no. It depends from person to person, but take a pause, give them a chance and see how it goes. And someone is strong. <coughs> Omen. I feel this person is Omega. Okay. And someone's name is Mia. Emma. Emo is also, that means that this person is too shy. They have been shy in their past. And now they're going to be coming with confidence. Misha could be the name. Okay, so yeah, and country, you can think of any, it could be America, it could be India, it could be Oman, it could be Malaysia, yeah, Melbourne, Australia, Egypt, England, yeah, someone is fond of eating oysters, or someone has a business, food business, Social media, business, okay. But wheel is turning. Everything is changing. Your love life is opening up. Uh, okay. 
So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read, Robos. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to I Enigma. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Please take care of yourself.